Happy days, happy days. But yeah, when the footy season's on, if South win that Monday, everyone's on a buzz. You know, everyone's in a good mood. Uh, you know, the bunnies won. They come to work Monday. Everyone's buzzing. Everyone's in a good, happy mood. If we lose, everyone's shitty. So you can sort of tell by you can judge the um, judge the sort of uh, the mood about all the workers that come in and stuff like that. But yeah, eighty percent of them. Uh, uh, the bunnies, and then the others are, are Roosters fans, so we all give it to each other too. You know, if the bunnies are playing the Roosters, stuff, it's it's game one that week. That one's the arm and tap. Another arm and tap. Oh, and yep. And the side tackle for the boys. What are they all hiding for? Oh, yeah. They're all yeah, hiding today. Yeah. They're, they're all shitting themselves. <laughs> that's right, that's right. These guys here, we're going to Swadlings Timber Yard, so they're one of me. Uh, one of my favourite customers there. They're all funny guys here. They they love their footy. They're, there's two main ones: the Warvies and these guys here. They they just talk footy. One of them's a big Chookies fans, big Puds. So uh, we always give it to each other. We had a bet last year. I think it was when the semis were on. I put it up. He'd done a donation to Ronald McDonald's house. Uh, Ronald McDonald house. Yeah. He's a mad Chookies supporter. I said, mate, if the Bunnies beat Manly, I think it was the top four. If Bunnies beat Manly. You got to wear a South jersey to work the next day. He's a massive Roosters supporter. So when the Bunnies won and got into the grand final, mate, he would have been fil- <laughs> he would have been filthy that week. He, uh, a, a Roosters supporter wearing a South jersey to work, mate, he would have copped it all week. <laughs> so it's uh, all a bit of a laugh and that, but um, yeah, we're just about to pull up now. So it should be off should be off fun and games now. Put the horn on. <laughs> This is where it gets interesting. <laughs> Let's make some coffee, baby. Let's go. No, no, yeah, no, yeah. Coming up. Oh, I've got Marky's. Marky's one black there. Yeah. All right, this one's got the cap. No sugar. Ah, oh, the crowd favorite. This is the one we've been talking to you about. Yeah, I am. He's a Chookies fan, this play. He's a Chookies fan. You might have to. Uh, hey, blue, 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 might blue. have to blow him out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. huh? this year. That's it. Starts again, with the field goal. He drilled it. And he is turning it off. Ten metres out from the St George line. Trindle picks his ears back. Daryl Trindle. The South Sydney number seven. It's got the ball back. Play on. Trindle has it. Push it away from Jensen. He's got it. And he scores. Trindle has given us the lead once again. May go on up. Now, he was my idol, got to watch him play for the Bunnies and that for 10, 11 years. And man, being an Erskineville boy, I went to St. Mary's Erskineville and they used to train at Urko Oval. It's only a couple hundred metres down the road. And man, they were training there and at Redfern, got to see all the players every day. You know, Dad, Mark Carroll, Craig Wing, you know, Justin Rumens, Ian, Ian Rubin. Man, I just wanted to be like them, you know, I got to surround myself around them every day. And, Wanted to be a footy player, but you know, had growing up getting older, just uh, had a few injuries and stuff like that. But uh, my dad, dad played a massive uh, part, you know. Just wanted to be like him, and just seeing how he was, you know, as captain. And I think he had a year or two at captain, and he was my idol, you know. He was, uh, he was a champion. And your halves, tricky. I thought was exceptional last week. That sort of latitude is going to be allowed for him tonight. Well, you know, if our, if our forwards do the job I expect him to do, Trindle's going to have plenty of room to do something. And uh, yeah, he's been outstanding, you know, three weeks in a row for me. So, you know, he's keen and uh, he's looking forward to playing. I've known Jordan since he's born. Um, I coach his dad, Daryl. I'm friends with his mum, Belinda. His grandfather, Tibby, was a, uh, one of the nicest blokes you'll ever meet in the world. He was, he was a, an A grade footballer for, you know, Moore Park. He was a, a legend in the area. And, uh, you know, I, I coach young Jordan in yesterday ball as well. And uh, you know, Jordan's a lovely boy. I've watched him grow up from a boy to a man, and he's, he's doing fantastic what he's doing now. He's, you know, tricks to the barista. And, uh, you know, I, I, he comes and uh, trains with Debbie every now and my wife every now and then. And, uh, mate, he's always a joy to be around. He's a great young kid. No, no, Tucker thought real high of Dad. I remember one of the games, I think it was against St. George, <clears throat> St. George Yolawa at SCG. I think Dad scored two tries, kicked the kicked field goal with his left foot. And the next day in the paper, Tugger came out and said, uh, Tricky Trindle's the best halfback in the world, which was a bold call. But I remember it, and uh, Dad got heaps embarrassed about it. But uh, Tugger stood high, highly of uh, you know, our family the whole time, and the good family, friends. And, you know, he's, a, he's a champion, he ended up being my coach at SG Ball, for South SG Ball. 
We had a gun team in there. We had me, Jason Clark. Uh, Maybe we had, a, we had a gun team back in the day. Ads Reynolds was there, ended up killing it, being captain. Joey made a cuckoo. And mate, my dad, dad, like Trick, he was probably one of the fittest at South. And he used to be our trainer. And he used to flog us. We'll, what's what's how our match? 15, 16 year old, same as SG Ball, under 18s. And he was 30 something, flogging us. He was beating us at, at fitness. So, man, that, that's some of the good times that we used to, uh, used to remember and stuff. Coming up, yeah, well, good. Played a bit like the real tricks then, Daryl, and um, he played, you know, in junior rep sides and uh, a good young halfback himself. No, it's tricky, it's tricky. <laughs> no, 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 no. Jordan was the opposite. <laughs> what? My mate, take it away. Oh, pumped up, Freddie. How can you not be? Good Friday footy on nine, the first of two games in a terrific atmosphere here at Accor Stadium. It's a Rabbitohs home game this afternoon. Cameron Murray leading out. The South Sydney Rabbitohs. Yeah, I remember back in the day, we used to go to um, the Redfern Leagues Club. We used to go to uh, the South Sydney Leagues Club at Redfern Oval. I don't know if they do that these days with all the juniors and that, so uh, it was a big thing and everyone got together and a lot of camaraderie, you know, it's uh, build the spirit up and stuff like that, so yeah, it's pretty good. Mate, they're going to be buzzing this week, they're going to be going mad, so I can't wait to get back uh, next week. I'll be giving it to a few of the Bulldog supporters, a few of the Rooster supporters. Uh, so yeah, saying that we won and all that, so it's good, good to get the win on the, you know, win against uh, the Bulldogs and that, but um, the boys are looking good, all the family enjoyed it and that, so happy days, they, uh, they loved it. Sorry about the pies, we're freaking, we got smoked. Yeah, they bleed, you know, red and green, they love it, you know, they'll follow them to the end of the earth. You know, especially some of my customers, you know, down the Warvies, you know, out at Lapa, that's all they talk about. And mate, it's just the, the whole the whole South Sydney area. They're just fanatical about uh, about their footy. So hopefully everyone gets in book on board, and um, you know, I'm sure they'll support them, and I'm sure they'll they'll have a good year.